Hi, this is Andrea, and today I want to talk about the possible future Canon R1 flagship camera and how it will compete against the Sony A1 and the Nikon Z9. I'm talking about this because uh, Canon officially somehow confirmed that the Canon R1 is in development while being interviewed by the French magazine Phototrend. Uh, where they clearly say there is uh, this camera coming. Um, it also sounds like this camera is not came, coming anytime soon. There were many rumors about the R1 being released in 2022 and then in 2023, but to, to me it sounds like it's more likely it's, that it will be announced in 2024. And um, there are no solid rumors about the camera as of now. Uh, the wild speculation is that this camera will obviously record 8K 60p and also have a sensor that is close to 100 megapixel. So definitely this will put it above the Sony A1 and the Nikon Z9. And the question arises if Sony will answer and how they will answer to that camera. Um, as far as it goes, the A1 is still a very young camera. It's now two years old and usually Sony updates their cameras after three, four years. So I think uh, we can safely say that in 2022, we'll, 2023, sorry, we will not get a new A1 II camera, maybe in 2024, but um, I doubt it will come anytime soon. Probably my best guess as of now, it will be late 2024 before we see uh, A1 II. Um, uh, what can we expect from the A1 II? considering what the R1 is likely being capable of. We know that Sony makes uh, full frame sensors that are close to 100 megapixels. That's no secret. So um, there's no doubt Sony could make a camera that has even greater resolution. And um, this would be, um, I, I think Sony will not aim for the maximum 100 megapixel, but it might be possible that they will increase it. Of course, there will be AK 60p and so forth. The main difference between the Canon R1, the Nikon Z9 and the Sony A1 II will be basically the body because the body of the Nikon Z9 is big, is made for professional use. The Canon R1 will be the same. It's actually, uh, I guess it will be somehow similar to the R3 with uh, some inputs of their current DSLR flagship camera. The A12 is likely to stick on the same form factor. That's actually my only critique to Sony. So my dream for the future Sony A12 is actually that they create two cameras Basically, one camera that keeps the same A1 form factor, which means uh, it will have, of course, all the improved tech like new autofocus, new sensor and uh, AK recording, and it still remains uh, small and portable, but also give an option to have the same specs on a bigger body uh, that is more closing, uh, close to the Z9 and the R or future R1 camera. Uh, for me this makes sense because uh, it would improve the handling of the camera, you would have bigger buttons, you would have a top screen on LCD, you would have better heat dissipation. So uh, I think Sony should consider making a proper compete competitor to the Canon R1 and Nikon Z9 in, also in terms of usability and body size. So, uh, but as of now, I have no solid info about the real Canon R1 specs and also no info about the A1 II. Like I said, we are still far off from those cameras. I think, uh, I know in 2024 we will have the Olympics and some may are speculating that the A1 II has to be announced before the Olympics. I don't think so. The camera made for the Olympics will be the new A93 that is definitely coming this year. So um, again, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button because as soon as I have info about that future A93 and uh, maybe also some uh, first hints about the future A12, I will share them on this channel. And this is it for today and I see you soon.